My name is Phil Wilson. I grew up in Grand Rapids. I was born and grew up in Grand Rapids and spent many, many hundreds of happy hours wandering about the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Yeah, it was a public museum. Thus, free to the public. My favorite memory of uh, coming to the Grand Rapids Public Museum was a Saturday morning when I was six years old being dropped off with my two older brothers uh, by my dad who went on to the Ryerson Library to, to do uh, research and write papers for his uh, working towards his master's degree. I would guess we would have gotten here by, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning at the very latest. Probably we got here five minutes after the museum opened so that dad could get to the library, you know, six minutes after it opened. The library is a quiet place, not the sort of environment for myself and my two older brothers to be running around making a lot of noise. And so the three of us were left uh, happily here all day long, most of the time, to wander and, and admire the dioramas and, and just take in these visions of the real world, is how I thought of it. The real world that I was so much more interesting than my backyard. We did not have cougars in the backyard. There were no elk that I, in Michigan. Um, and moles, you never get to see a mole, but here in the public museum is a whole window full of moles. I think the most, the most vivid memory I have of wandering is, is of letting my brothers wander around the corner to other, other displays and, <clears throat> and lingering myself in front of the mole window. There's something really fascinating about seeing those little moles and shrews in that, in that window um, because I'd never actually seen one, although our yard was full of mole moles, I'd never actually seen one. So I, they were subterranean, unseen, not like the stuffed birds and the and so forth. Yeah, the mole window. Not my favorite, but, my, but the most fascinating. My brothers and I would sometimes sit in front of a diorama and, and looking into it and looking into the landscape, <clears throat> sort of project ourselves in a fantasy of being down there in that valley and being able to look up at that cougar there and seeing that bald eagle circling overhead. These are things that you just don't have access to as a six-year-old in Grand Rapids, Michigan, but you could, you could project into yourself into that landscape and, and, um, and, and enjoy it even on a, on a fantasy level. And we spent the entire day just wandering the galleries and and looking deep into the dioramas for hours on end. And I can't imagine a more pleasant way to spend a Saturday for a six-year-old kid. And, and still today, just wandering through the museum and looking at the somewhat, uh, you know, partially dismantled dioramas still gives me a great deal of pleasure. Just in, in every case, um, the, the wonderful palette of, of detail, both uh, in the actual taxidermy and, and in the painted backgrounds, is, I think, what makes wandering in the woods today still just such a wonderful thing. The, the rural world is a, is a rich and fabulous place, and, and these dioramas really in, project that and I think instill that in a young mind. And uh, so I just, uh, the, the place has really made a huge difference in the way I, I see and enjoy the world.